Gil ratings, this is Garth RS, the Tileless Adventure, with another episode of Feed to Be Single Player, episode 29. Whoa! Next episode, you get a world download, everybody will be happy, you could bake a cake, you could put it in your pocket, but it will probably get smushy. That was weird. <laughs> I have things not loading for reasons of unknown knowingness. Alright, so as you can see, I've begun to turn this into a bit of a farm. Don't you know? Here's the entrance. Skadoosh. Got some things all up in her, up in her. And I've decided that I am going to go with, since no one, you know, I think, really guessed. I mean, I got a few suggestions, but no one really guessed. Uh, I'm going to do turtles. And there's a very specific reason why I'm going to do turtles. I know it was like anticlimactic. You already told us that. But I started thinking about golems. And then I thought to myself, I have an idea... And I think it might work, but I doubt it. Um, and I can always try it. In worst case scenario, I got turtles. I like turtles. I like turtles. All right. A couple things you need to know about turtles. First of all is um, when they attack, they are supposed to automatically pick up um, drops from what they, what they drop. And as you know, um, they hold on to it. They're hoarders. And uh, we've tried to get them help. We've staged a few interventions, but nothing seems to work. So, oh, that was my own that was my own sprint dust that I saw. All right, so let me just give you a couple of changes. Uh, you know, as you guys have, can see that I've, of course, been working on that. Uh, this is probably out of something. Um, more than like hummus, which is fine, honestly. I'm fine. Hey, hey! You throwing your saplings at me, jerk face. Um, I'm out of hummus, so I gotta make some more of that. And uh, you guys have seen me make that about 58 times, so I'm not gonna do that on camera. Mm, no, I'm not. No matter how much you want it. And as you can see from the giant TV antenna in the sky, I've moved my quarry. Um, I just want to start start off with a comment that that was that was. Um, was re re rebuted, I guess, would be the best word for it. Um, uh, I said first. I mean, legitimately. The video was public for 15 minutes when I said that. So, I mean, I think it was legit. But Basketball Star 0607 says, That is an illegal first by the uploader of the video. By law, I am first. Lol. So, I'll give him that one for all intents and purposes. But for the record, that video was public for 15 minutes when I, when I put that up. This used to be a hill and it had trees on it. And now it's just not a hill anymore whatever that may be in the future and um yes excellent excellent surface diamonds <gasps> surface diamonds that's so awesome surface diamonds look at them they're beautiful oh my god i'm so happy look at them they're beautiful <laughs> anyway and to his comment i said Hey, the video was public 15 minutes when I did that. Thunder Stealer, but I concede your firstedness. I'll just be content to make up a comment where you say you fart in the bathtub and bite the bubbles. So I think that's legitimate. You know, he steals my first, I'll make up a comment. Basketball Star 0607 says, I like to fart in the bathtub and bite the bubbles. <laughs> and he said the bubbles of fortitude are not to be made fun of. But I apologize for calling you on your misplaced first thunder. Lol. Lol is right. You think law is not law. I'll get you with my scissors of epic proportion. Anyway, um, I'm not sprinting, and there's a, there's a good reason. Because I need to eat food. And I've eaten it. So everything is as it should be. Um, a couple of things that I wanted to do today, and it's been a while. A lot of people were like, hey, Garth, are you okay? Did you die? Uh, no, I didn't die. I just didn't upload for two days. And that's fine, you know, because um, my weekends are kind of hectic, and I'm... Heavily involved in the bagger stuff. So when the baggers are doing stuff, I'm usually doing it with them. And nighttime is usually when I do my recording. So uh, Friday and Saturday nights, since I'm all baggered out, I, I don't have time to record. And we usually go to like, what, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning? Jeez, Louise, it's crazy. So <clears throat> on the weekends, I usually just hang out with my buds, play for fun, or hang out with my family. Usually hang out with my family and play for fun um, when I'm not with the baggers. So... That is how we do it. That is how we do it, baby. So, as you can see, I'm back recording now. It's like late in the week, I know. I'm sorry, gosh! And I don't even remember what I came over here for. 
because my brain is tiny. It used to be bigger, but I ate a lot of raisins. I bet you didn't know that, did you? I bet you didn't know about the raisins, did you? Hey, hummus! I already had some. That was cool. Oh, I know. I remember why I had hummus. You want to see why I had hummus? Of course you do. You want to come out here and you say, oh, Garth, where'd it go? And I'll be like, you don't even need to know. You don't even need to know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to convert my power from a low-pressure boiler to a high-pressure boiler. That is the plan, which should give me ample pull um, power to play with since I have the Tesseract there. And I have this guy who's full all the time. I mean, I have a lot of power as it is. But with this way, I can just tesseract the crap out of everything. I can power the sun. Woot, woot. Not really, though. Because that would take a lot of redstone conduit. Which I don't have a lot of. Do I need a cold coke? Oh, that's great. That's full of, that's full of coke. Full of cold coke. And I need steel. Anyway. Um, I don't even remember what I came down here for, but I am going to make a couple of changes. First of all, um, a lot of timers mess up your, um, my brain is stupid right now. A lot of timers mess up your, um, your world tick. So what I've been trying to work on, but, and it hasn't really been that hard, honestly, is an alternate form of taking care of this business. Not when this gets to 16, I don't even have a lot of this coming down here right now. As you can see, I've got ample scrap, but no cobble coming in right now. So what I'm thinking about doing, and also, we'll just go ahead and grab, gimme, 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 gimme. And uh, we'll go like this, and we'll say, okay, if you, oh, did it go in my, it always goes in my thing. I love this thing, but I hate this thing. You know what I mean on the thing? Yarg. All right, so anyways, clip that, clip that, and put that in there as well. And now it'll pull out half, uh quarter stacks of dirt as well come on come on you can do it are you gonna do it are you not gonna do it is it dead you know what let's try this I bet you that works probably not yeah there is okay All right. so that's what we'll do and I think there's another where it'll just pull out whatever it can there you go let's see Let's see if that works. Yeah, that should work. Okay, it's still working. Well, it's good with me. And as you can see, the default for cobble is here, so the <coughs> cobble will never make it over there unless this thing is shut down. As you can see, it's rarely shut down. And with the pulling out of dirt, dirtitude, you know what? Let me put, I should put a restrictor on that. I should definitely put a restrictor on that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. It's still the closest inventory, but with the restrictor, where are you going? <laughs> it's going up there. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> the dirt in the filter. <laughs> you can accept it. Dirt. <laughs> All right, so anyway. All right, that was ridiculous. Garth, ridiculous. But as you can see, the dirt will start piling in here like a crazy man. And I won't have any dirt coming down here anymore. Um, perfect. Excellent. Um, and I'm not really... I like all the dirt I have up there. Um, I probably should. I should you know what? I'm going to put a restriction pipe on that. Which, as you guys recall, is just a regular redstone. Or a pneumatic tube. And an iron ingot. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been like probably two or three minutes in this video. And I haven't done crap yet. So, I'll tell you what, let me get my junk together, and I'll be right back. And, okay. It's excellent. It's part of time. Stone, in like a pantalone shape, redstone in the middle, mid grass plane, gets computer. One, two. We have two computers. And in order to make a turtle, we want chest, arm, and a computer. Now, I have some wood right here. I have wood. No jokes. Bad form. So we'll get two chests. Scoop, scoop. Just like that. And we'll come back over here and we'll put these at the bottom like that. And we take our iron ingots and we put them around the outside. Around the outside like that. And we get two turtles. One, two. Alright, now in order to make a turtle that we're going to use with efficiency, first of all you have to put this next to it. And you get a melee turtle. And you're like, what? Oh my god. 
And you have, oh, you know what I almost did again? Almost did again. Now, you're thinking to yourself, now, with a melee turtle, what are you going to do? What kind of code are you going to write um, to get it to attack all the time? Um, I, I just, I don't know, Garth. I don't, I don't know. And I'm like, well, um, what I was thinking was we could do a little bit of programming. I'm not like super good at it, but I think it would be fun to try. And I think I just fell slow. My tick is so bad I fall slow. Yeah, I'm not even going to mess with you. Because last time I did that war cry, I damn near blew my speakers out. I was like, stupid war. Get out of here. God, follow me around like some kind of puppy dog. I don't know nothing to do with you. Leave me alone. What, are you afraid I'm going to leave without giving you a goodbye kiss? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fry guy 554 says, I will represent all Mexicans by saying it is fine, but there is a difference, such as they are two different countries. I knew they were two different countries. I knew that. You know, Mexico's like not too far away from me. So, what do you want from me? Now, the the thing with piggies, mit the piggies, is they are only one tall. So, what I'm going to have to do when I put this dude right here like this Actually, I need to turn him to the... I need to turn him around twice. So let's do the turn right. And then we'll just do turn right again. Now, uh, turn right. He's going to attack. Now, if I could if I could do, like, turtle.attack and hit enter. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I want to do the Lua. Never mind. All right, so turtle.attack. Hmm. Oh, duh. I forgot these. It's not? Hmm. Hmm. Well, then I'm going to have to do some reading because I just could have swore I had that in there. Turtle dot attack, I think. Anyway, so basically what I'm going to do, I'll, be, I'm gonna go, I'll go check the code here because I'm fairly certain I got it right. I'm probably missing something stupid. And I need to turn this guy around right twice. Turn right. And then do it again. All right. So he's facing that way, and he's facing that way. I'm fairly certain that's the way it is, because when they attack, I believe they attack with the sword on the left, pointing in the direction. So, it's good. And what we'll do underneath of these guys is we'll have, um, we'll have them just kick it down. We'll, we'll just say, uh, turtle drop down or whatever. And there'll be, um, there'll be chests down here. So that, that'll be the easy part. That'll be the easy part. And, um... Effectively, what I want to do is right here, probably right here, I'll put a brain in a jar to collect the experience. Now, there's something else I want to try, and, and the specific reason why I went with uh, turtles. And I, I haven't tried this in, in creative, so when it doesn't work, I'll probably be very disappointed. I'll probably end the episode. Okay, hold on a second. Mm, I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. I'm better. Hey! All right, that's better. Anyway, um, yeah, well, I'll probably end the episode with some, some pretty serious um, self-esteem issues. But that's cool. I mean, you guys will forgive me, right? 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 Okay. Well, apparently, we have we have an issue. All right. Um, first of all, I, I, I can't figure out why it's not working in... Um, in uh, the the Lua program, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and while true do and I believe it's one two three four on this one we're going to go turtle dot attack and then you do the open and close just like I was supposed to and and then we're going to do sleep and I think we're going to do one and then we're going to do turtle get a spell turtle right turtle drop down and then we go do that again and then we go like this one and we do end and then we go to save exit and then we do startup I think is uh, how do you do that I can't remember how to do that. I just looked it up too. Hold on a second. All right, I'm an idiot. 
Now you notice, he's kicking it down there right now. He's taking care of business, all right? What I wanted to check was if that was in there, it would work. But he kicks it out. I don't want to do the drop down. So let's, um, let's go ahead and stop that. Uh-huh. Is he still attacking? I guess not. Alright. Well, hold on a second. Let me work this out. Alright. I'll give you a brief rundown of what my problem is. I have a lot of problems, but specifically this one. Uh, Control-T is supposed to terminate a uh, program, and Control-R is supposed to... Um, yeah, I knew that was out. I knew that was a problem. Uh, control R is supposed to reboot the computer. Neither one of those are working for me right now, and I can't figure out why. Um, in all honesty, I am befuddled. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to make it work, but it's just not doing what it's supposed to do! Alright, so I'm going to go over here and grab some more wheat, because I need the wheat. And then I will um, be back in a moment. Wastelands, no rain. It's good, it's good. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, sweet. Did you see that? Get away, get away. Mm, there we go. Okay, chains. Oh! So I'm going to go get some more wheat. We'll get this thing cooking. And I'm going to try to figure out what the terminate um, shortcut is. Because um, everything I did on the wiki, I tested out. Um, but I think I tested it in a different version. I could be wrong. I have multiple versions because we do stuff with the baggers and all sort of crap. So it may have changed. I'll figure out what it is. It's supposed to be control T. But it's not working. Uh, control S is supposed to forcibly shut down the computer, and it's not working either. So I, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But what I was going to try to do is put the soul shard in there, but with the kick it out command, it's not working. <laughs> so what I need to do is to, for each uh, integer 1 through 16, because it has 16 uh, inventory blocks, uh, have it test if, you know, if it is... Um, a shard do nothing. If not, then um, basically place down or um, drop down. So there you go. So I get this going. I get some. I get some uh, weed in there, and we'll figure this out. You and I together. Ah! All right. So basically, what I got here is this cow shard here, and I'm waiting for these guys to grow because I would rather have grown cows. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try on these pigs because I, I got an empty one here. We'll see if it works. This is, I, I uh, cheated this one in, so if it does work, I'll trash it. Or if it doesn't work, I'll trash it. Either way, I'll trash it. So let's go, and we'll just go call us a pig, because I don't like typing all that stuff. And we'll do while true, do, and then we just get four spaces. Sounds good. Turtle, attack, and then we'll do end. And then we'll hit control and save and control and exit. And then we'll do kill the... Actually, let's do pig. Because I didn't want to do all that. Remember? Remember? I'm getting XP, but let's see. Nope, didn't get any. It didn't get any. So we'll go ahead and trash that. But uh, I, I don't know if it's because of the one I cheated in. See, because that's 8332. See, I don't know. It could be it. I wonder. Oh, he had me! You jerk! All right. See, Control T is supposed to terminate the program. It does not. I tried both Control Ts. Control S. Control S. Control R. Nothing is working. None of the commands that are saying that they're supposed to work are working, which is kind of frustrating to me, honestly. So, terminating a program is supposed to be Control T, but it may have changed from the from the wiki that I've been. That I've been checking out. So, actually, let me. A program. All right. Uh, do, do, do. Oops. Terminate. Fired when Control T is held to terminate the running program. So maybe it has to be held. Ooh. Let's try that one. Say we'll go. Say go. Wrong, we killed a cow. Oh, so we go. Kill the cow. That's right. That may have worked. No, 128? No, I don't think that worked. It may have. I forgot to look on how many it was before. So let's hold Control T. Yeah, it did it terminate. Oh, gosh. It didn't say held. It said push. 
Urgh. All that work I did, all that brain frying. It's crazy. All right, so we know it has 128 on it. So we'll wait for some more cows to drop down here and we'll check. Cause I don't, I don't remember what I looked for. It may or may not work. And honestly, if it doesn't, I won't be surprised. If it does, I'll be super thrilled. Because eventually, what I'm looking for is to replace the breeder with a spawner. That way, I don't have to use as many resources for it. Now, if I have to stand there with the, with the, the thing in my hand, and handle business, I'll do it. I ain't afraid. I'll put some more hummus in there. Hummus. Anyways. Uh, so this is all working the way it's supposed to. I've got plenty of stuff on my feed station, right? And uh, these cows are ready to go. Uh, this barn's going to look nice when it's done. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is um, building the, the stairwell up here so I can access both of these. I think that would be pretty cool. I could do, um, what do you call them, uh, panels right through here. You know what I'm saying? I think that would work out fairly well. Fairly well. Yeah, I'm excited. This little build is pretty cool. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll uh, replace these. Where are you at? Put you in here and you in here, and then I'll just kick these out, and then I'll come over here, and we'll we'll set our turtles up to just do day business for now. All right. Now this is 128 in it, so let's do let's do. Killed a cow. <laughs> Killed two. No, it did not work. All right, so I'll pull you out, and this needs to get thrown away. Don't let me forget that. And then we'll do... You know what? Let's go ahead, and we'll terminate this one, and we'll edit it. Killed a cow, and we'll have it, and we'll add drop down in there. Turtle drop down. That's important that you capitalize the word down. I don't know why. Um, she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. Uh, sleep. I'm, I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it sleep for th three. I think three will work. Huh? Control save. Control exit. All right. And I'm going to put the chestuses down here below, and then I'll have it kill the cow. Well, see, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to kill cows that aren't ready to be killed yet. See, that's the thing. Hmm. What I need. The modular toggler. That might be what it is. Up top. Hmm. 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 That's a question. Because little baby cows don't drop nothing. Uh. Turn left. You know that's a good. That's a good thing for me to think of. Because these individuals here are my mowing machines, which mow with it with a vengeance. So what I think I need to do is work it out so that they... Oh, crap, it's coming for me. So that they don't mess with me or mess, mess with the babies. And I think that might... Uh, the growth detector would be the only way I can think of to do that. Hmm. That's a good question. That's a good question. I wonder how I could do that. Now, with the modular... Not the module togulator, but the... Um, Detector, monitor, manager, there we go. You can go to module states, and you can see here, has breedable passenger. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. You know what I mean? Has a breedable passenger. Have it drop the breedables in one area. Hmm. It would take, it'd be a little more convoluted. I could have it drop... Um, babies over here. That would be cool. Hmm. That is a good question. That is a good question. Let's watch it. Let's watch it at work. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so I really haven't done too much this episode, so let me go over and do the thing that I actually can do when I'm doing the thing. Yes! Alrighty then. Well, since we're upgrading our steam boiler to the steel plates, I think it would be important to go with liquid fuel firebox. So we're gonna, we're gonna need nine of these puppies. Do I have nine? I have eight. What do I, what am I missing? What did I miss? Was it a bucket? No, it was bars. I didn't have enough bars. I could have sworn I had enough bars. Bars for days. Boop boop. One two. One two. One two. 
So that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. And we'll put these here, and this will give us one liquid fuel firebox. Now we need nine because the system that we're going to work with is going to be three by three. Um, we don't, I don't need like some gargantuan mechanism of supreme awesomeness. I think that would be just be silly. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll place these right here. Shut your mouth. You're a big jerk face. Um, and then, and then what we'll do is we'll build our boiler right here and we'll put our, we'll use liquid ducts cause they can press steam better. And we'll put all of our, our engines in the front. I think that will be good. And we'll feed it the fuel from the back. But we need two things for fuel. First of all, we need uh, a source for fuel, biofuel, whatever. And uh, we need a refining system. So the refining system that we're going to do right now is going to be oil to fuel. So you're like, Garth, you don't have any oil. I'm like, I do. It's in my hair. I'm just kidding. It's not really in my hair. I totally wash my hair all the time. I'm very, I'm very, I'm very hygienic. I'm clean most days. All right. Well, um, high pressure boiler is made with steel plates instead of iron plates. So we just grab these guys. And I believe 32 is what we're going to need. And I'll just go ahead and shift click that and take the last one and put it down here. And I think 32 is, like I said, I think 32 is what I'm going to need. But then again, we're depending on my math, which as we know from past experience is rarely correct. Eating steak like a boss. All right. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is fun. It's almost like a video game. All right. Um, it's kind of like a video game, actually. All right. I should. No, I don't have it. I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead. Let's just do that for now because it's totally all right. All right. So it's three tall. It's filling up with water fairly quickly because of the setup I have doing, y'all. And if, uh, as you recall, I, I, there was a tree farm here, but now there is just this. A couple of liquid transposers kicking out some serious water. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this will be filling up. And another thing that we're going to need is uh, back here, we're going to need a tank. Now, I kind of have a five spot dug out, but I'm only going to use a three spot for now. Because what I'm going to do effectively is store oil and then turn it into fuel. And I'm going to pretty much not require too much else so that's going to be fairly easy fairly easy to do so where are we going to get our oil at you ask yourself i say to you shut your mouth hey hey look look what's there you see it you see that's how i keep this loaded loaded i bet you didn't notice that did you you were like hey dude i totally didn't notice that i'm like it's all right man shh, shh, shh. it's all right it's all right it's okay anyway that was that was really kind of weird and i don't i don't want to be I don't want to be a party to that anymore. Um, and in, in order to make an iron tank, now you guys have probably seen me make these before. I think I, I think I made one. I could be wrong. And in, in order to make an iron tank, what am I doing? Tank. All right, we have iron tank wall right there, which is just four iron plates. Get you four iron walls. Now we're also going to need an iron tank gauge, which is which is funny because it's just a window and uh, an iron tank valve which is also fairly easy and I don't usually like um, the winders I don't really need them so I don't I don't really use them too often uh, I might put some on there just so I can see in there or I, most people put them like all over the place and they put them like in crazy locations and uh, they just like whole tank sides are all full up with wall and you don't need all that you really don't so I just need one lever and yeah I'm gonna need two levers I'm going to need two levers and more iron bars. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, the reason you're going to need the bars is because I'm going to need two tank valves. And the tank valves, use each one use four iron bars. So we're going to have more iron bars than we need. But what do you do? What do you do? Okay, so we. I'm going to, I love these project tables. They're very handy. I'm trying to sprint, but I'm not. I'm slow. I'm slow. All right. Hey. So we'll put you up there and you up there. Now I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a few. I'm guessing I'm gonna need 32, but I think I'm wrong. So I'm just gonna get 28 for now. Yeah, I'm gonna get 28 for now and we'll see what I need. But uh, effectively wh what I'm gonna be doing is pumping out the, uh, or pumping the uh, oil into the top 
and the uh, fuel at the bottom. Well, not the bottom bottom, but like the bottom edge. So we'll go like this, and we'll put our bottom nine down iron tank wall. You like this, and we get out of here like this, and then we got, I'm, I'm only going to go, meh, you know, I could probably go three tall. Let's do that. Let's see what three tall looks like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, three tall looks like it might do it. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. No. But I am going to need nine more. And that we'll do twelve more. That'll do it. Twelve more will do it. I don't like making too many, because you waste all your iron. Okay, so we have three. Now, in addition to that, we are going to need uh, you know, I might as well get a few um, windows. I'll get two. I'll put two in the front. Uh, but in order to make the valves, you need to make them like that. So you go, oh, I only need one. I only need one. Look at that. Epic. All right. So we need to get rid of this and get some more glass pl glass panes, which I don't know I have. You're, oh, that was, that was a giveaway right there. You, you were like, no, I don't want to say it. Don't show me your secrets. It's okay. Secrets are for everyone. Now I'm going to read a comment here because I haven't done that in a few minutes, and I'm starting to feel stupid. Because I love my comments. Come on now. Why are you being like that? My Skype opened up. It was like, no, Skype. No, or no comment. Skype. All right. Um, 136 Will says, hello, Garth. This is my first time commenting on one of your programs. I have watched all of the first season videos, and I have just now caught up to you in this second season. I find your videos quite helpful and entertaining and stuff like that. You know, people are like, oh, Garth, you're so full of yourself. But I love that feedback. It lets me know that somebody out there is enjoying me. And as long as somebody out there is having a good time and maybe even learn a few things here and there, I honestly, I feel like I feel like my, my job is done. My job is done here. Anyway, that's me. That's how I roll. I am crazy like that. I'm incredibly crazy like that. All right, so we have one of those and one of those and one of those. All right, he also said, sorry to hear that your viewers are falling off. Maybe you should bring back the missions to give a little direction to, to your episodes and keep up the fine work, neighbor. Oh, I'm in North Carolina, by the way. I'll be watching, which is creepy, because I looked at my window a while ago, and there he was. He was just like, what's up, dog? Ow, you son of a... Die! Die in your face off! Anyway. Um, let's see. There's a boiler pressure plate pressure. I don't think this is from my freaking apple farm, or the whatever farm is, Digger's backpack. I'm a Thomonomicon. We're going to close the episode over there. I'm going to show you guys uh, the issue I've been having with Thomonomicon, which right now, as far as I'm concerned, Thomcraft's about ready to get a freaking throat punch. I kid you not, people. Kid you not. You think I'm joking? Mm-mm. Not even. Not even. Not even a little bit. All right. Now, this is like a multi-block structure, and you're like, wow, this is not very big. It's not going to hold much. But the thing here, it is going to hold a lot, because first of all, I need to put this in here. <laughs> and uh, then I need to put this in here, and then I put these two in here. And you watch, when I put this last piece in, boop, it becomes a full block. And you right-click on it, and you're like, oh, my God, that's awesome. And I'm like, I totally know. So that's what we're going to do. That's where we're going to hold our oil. But where are we going to get our oil? You never really did answer that question, Garth. And I'm all like, give me a second, people. This is the Internet, right? It's not instantaneous. Lee Baron 1980 says, Garth, don't forget to research the brain in the jar from Thomcraft. It will catch the XP dropped when you use the turtles to kill the mobs. Mm, so I guess technically he did guess it. He did technically. I hate, I hate that. Technically, he did guess it. No, I'm just kidding. I don't hate that. I love that. I love it. Not like weird like. All right. Um, and in order to get or I know you're like, where are you going to get your oil? But in order to get our oil from one place to the next, we're going to need a few things. And that is going to be a liquid Terrasac, which is tin, silver, and copper meta pneumatic server. How do you make a pneumatic server? Like that. Okay. So yeah, I already answered your question. Now I have an unattuned Tesseract frame, which you just basically make the frame and you put it in here and you get the junk out. So it's, it's super easy. So I'm going to grab... Why did I not get two of those? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I was supposed to grab this one first before I did that, and it didn't do it because I'm stupid. Unattuned. Uh, so you guys get to see me build it. You're like, dude, this is pretty epic. I can't believe you did such a good job on this. And I'm like, quit sucking up. It's not funny anymore. Actually, no. Keep on. I like it. it makes me happy. All right. So, um, let's see. What was I going to show you? I was going to show you where I was going to. I was going to show you something. I can't remember what it was. 
Hmm. Hmm. I don't remember what it was I was going to show you now. Oh, I remember it was where I was going to get the oil. But before I do that, you have to wait. Because I'm going to put some liquid ducts in. If I can find them. There they are. Liquid ducts. And then in here we get that in this. And then we come over here like that. And we get this out. And we put this here because I don't need that anymore. And I'm, my inventory is getting stupid full again. And Diego Troyano says, Hello, good evening. I wonder what texture pack are you using? A big hug. And thank you. I'm not about hugs, you know, but that's cool. I appreciate that. The virtual hugs are fine. That's fine. But if you see me on the street, please don't run up and throw your arms around me because I'll just freak out. I have personal space issues like you would not believe. You're like, um, Garth, uh, I'm just trying to be friendly. And I'm like, ah, oh, you're touching me. And it doesn't work that way because in the internets, everybody is your friend. There's no such thing as a troll. Don't you know? All right. And I had a... Didn't I have a lever? Didn't I? I swear to Pete, I had a lever. Did I put it in the stupid thing? Okay. So basically, lever to make this work. And this is going to be oil. And it's going to be receive only. And it's going to be public access. So all you have to do is dial in frequency one and you'll be able to snag my oil. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's where it's going to go right there. Uh, that's where the oil is going to go. But where is it coming from? Yeah, that's okay. Shh, 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 shh. In order for us to do that, we have to do something else. And I've already set up the system, so I'm just going to run over there. Because I know you guys are probably about ready to throw your computer monitors out, out the door. You're like, oh, I hate you so much. But you don't. Not really. You're like, you're my best friend, Garth. And I'm like, dude, you're my best friend too. But anyways. So, I filled up that hole. As you can see, the hole is filled up. And over here, I'm going to need a chunk loader for this. But I'll make one off camera because you guys have seen me make one before. As you can see, I got some stuff going on over here. I'm going to have to... All right. All right. All right. This is crazy. Uh, solar panel, bat box thing. As you can see, it's all ready to go. It's all ready to go. All I got to do is fleet this lever like that and you're like but 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 and I'm like no buts people it's party time did I get two I did get two and the reason you have to use two is when you're using liquid ducts um when if I put it down right like right there both ends would be the same junction so when I when I when I give this both of them would be out so it wouldn't do any good you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying picking up what I'm putting down Boop, like that now where am I going to go with this I'm going to go to oil send only check mark and it's going to start filling up. The problem is, like I said, is it, it's way over here. So I would need a chunk loader. And I don't have one of those momentarily. But let's go over and see. Are you, are you coming? Oh, going? All right. And it's got, it's, that should chunk load over there for right now. So this should go down a little bit after it does its thing. Mm-hmm. 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 You see how see how well it's working? Alright, this is what I wanted. This is is this what I wanted? There you go. That should work. Because now it's going out of there and into here. That should work. Should. I say should. <laughs> Let's go over and see if we have any oil in there yet. I could have sworn that was supposed to go down one. As it sucks it up. As it sucks. <laughs> see what I did there? As you can see, it works. Um, the problem that I had, and I think I did this wrong. I could be wrong. I don't think test racks need to do this. But uh, I had to take it off of this mode right here and put it on that mode. So I may have to go do the same thing over on the other side. Uh, or maybe not. You know, I probably will. Either way, I'm going to build myself a uh, chunk loader. I'm going to take care of that. And then next episode, what we'll do is we'll build some refiners to manage this steam oil so we can turn this regular oil into fuels you see how that works and you're like refiners guard that's the stinky stupidest awesomest mega ultimate thing i've ever heard and i'm like totally one last final comment from Jagunos says hey garth i have two questions for you hope you could answer 
Which version of the D Wolf 20 pack mod do you use? And the answer to that one is the most current. And when he asked that question, I was on 501, I think, and now I'm on 511. So whatever the most current version of Direwolf 20 mod pack is, that's the one I use. Um, you should be able to use the 501 on the 20 save, the episode 20 save. But uh, I think as of episode 30, you're going to need the 511 save or the 511 version. So that's how that's going to work for you guys. Because first of all, uh, I'm here for you answering your questions. And he said, question number two is why do you use some why do you use some German words sometimes? Well, I don't know. Uh, some of you guys are new. I know my my subs count's actually gone up probably a couple hundred in the last two or three weeks. But uh, just to give you a little background on myself, I am in the United States Air Force and I have served in numerous places around the world. One of which being Germany. And I've actually kind of liked that language. I never got as fluent in it as I wanted to, but I could understand a whole lot more than I can speak. So every once in a while, you'll hear me throw a German word in because I only know a few German words. <laughs> it's been like uh, 10 years since I was over there, so almost 10 years. I think I came back in 2003, so that should tell you. But, um, you know, some of it stuck with me and some of it sticks around. I do know a whole lot of German curse words, um, <laughs> but that's not going to help me in everyday life. Especially when I'm talking to people who understand German. Be like, this guy's offensive. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's that's how I know German. Um, I spent six years over there living. You know, the only regret that I have, really, honestly, is not becoming a little more fluent. Uh, I thought that was a big oil spell right there for a second. I was like, what in the deuce? But it's not an oil spell. It's not an oil spell. So let's go over here to one of my towers and sign off. And you're like, I just survived that fall. Long fall boots, baby. You saw me build them. If not, go back and watch that episode. Go back and watch the episode. I swear to gosh. I swear to gosh already. Anyway, so we'll come over here and we'll leap off. Well, we won't leap off because that, that would be suicidal. There's a couple of spiders down there. But anyways, we're going to salutate ourselves to death now. Not to death because I don't want you to die. You know, because I like Christmas presents. I'm fairly certain you guys are going to hook me up, right? Sweet. I love Minecraft. <laughs> Chainsaw!